Alien Lights, new from Nanlite. You're watching Synity, supported by B&H and CVP. Welcome from NAB 2024. Here is Synity at the Nanlite booth again with Barry. How are you? I'm good. How about yourself? Very well indeed. So we have two aliens standing behind us. We do, actually. Uh, they're here. You know, that's the interesting They have come, finally. <laughs> They've come to Nevada desert, right? So why, why is this product called Alien? Well, uh, it's an interesting thing. I think more along the lines is probably because it looks like an alien. That, that's probably the reason that they came up with the idea. Um, the eyes and the fans on the back kind of had that, um, yeah, very futuristic look, I guess. So it's kind of alien-like. I think that's where they're coming from. But it's a very, very powerful light. That's what we like about it. It really blasts a lot of light, uh, almost like an alien ship landing, kind of. <laughs> so one of the cool things about it is it's a full color fixture. Um, you've got all these bells and whistles that are inside, uh, a really large CCT range, as well as the full HSI, uh, RGB, all the bells and whistles that you know with full color fixtures from Nanlite, uh, RGBWW really and truly, and then has the ability, it's an IP55 fixture, it means it can get wet. So on the head, it's... it's Even if the aliens land while it's raining, which rarely happens around here, they will be fine. Right, it will always be okay, because if it gets a little wet. But the head is IP55, and the actual controller has a cover that actually goes over that keeps it from getting wet. So we really and truly thought out what they wanted to do with this light. And they see a lot of different uses for it. Um, broadcast folks especially, because that's what they were pushing for, but has a lot of uses in studio type situations as well as documentary or um, just regular cinema. So they kind of wanted to do a large gambit of things that it could cover uh, by just giving you a really bright light. Very cool. So the sizes I see here are a little bit different from what we're used to. They are actually. They went a little smaller because they wanted to be a little more compact and allow you to be able to kind of put it where you want to. You know, always getting feedback from our customers saying, hey, it would be nice if it was a little smaller so I could fit it into here. That's the type of thing they kind of took to heart with this and the way they were designing it. So it's a little more lightweight but it allows you to have that soft box on the front so it still diffuses itself. And the way the LEDs are laid out is a little bit different than we've done in the past with some of ours as well. Okay, well, uh, we, we can turn them around, Let's just take a look. And have a quick look and see what it is. Uh, we can just look at it right here through this piece. You see how they're split. So this actually allows you to have the warm white cool light and mix it a lot better. It really gives you some really smooth color temperature when you're moving through, but still allows you to have all that bang and output that you're looking for when you hit that color temperature you need. Are, they, are these little lenses up there? Do they make a, a more focused beam or what's the beam angle? That is correct. Actually, it's a 60 degree lens that's on top of it. So it's gonna kind of shorten that beam angle a little bit, but it's gonna give you that power and that punch that you're looking for, which is most people are asking for nowadays. Hey, I want more power, more punch through a softbox or through a scrim or whatever it is that you might be pushing it through. Very cool. Uh, I guess they can be powered with batteries as well? Yes, so you've got the ability to be able to, to power it, whether a 14.8, 26 volt, whatever you feel that would work for you. Um, you can also do lots of different ways to control it. We've got CRMX, we've got regular DMX, we've got the app, all those lovely ways of being able to get that light to do what you want it to do. Very cool. Anything else you want to add? No, just that two new sizes. Uh, we've got the 300 that's going to be around $14.99 or so, and then the um, the other little guy, which is a 150C, will be around $9.99 or so. Awesome. Thank you, Barry. And availability? Available now? Availability for these guys will probably be around June 1st. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned uh, to Cinity for actually two more videos from Nanlite and Nanlux and also a lot of more videos from NAB 2024 in general. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.